Hello doctors, good afternoon. Today's topic is emergency management and what are the treatment principles which we follow during these conditions. Okay, this is the most requested topic. In this session, we will discuss what are the diseases and what are the conditions come under this emergency management and what is the cause and the symptoms, what will be the diagnosis and how we prescribe a treatment to a particular case. All this we will discuss in this session. Okay, first of all, what is emergency management? This is a procedure where immediate action, immediate treatment given to a patient affected with a case or a disease. Okay, this is the emergency management. What are the conditions come under this? This is the topic which we go through in the clinical practice also and in the theoretical purpose it will come under KC and in Shelia. Okay, what are the conditions in our syllabus point? First of all, we will discuss them. Later on, we will go through each and every case and the treatment. Okay, first, acute hemorrhage, hyperpyrexia, hyperglycemia, hypoglycemia, hypertensive emergencies, acute abdominal pain, anuria, congestive heart failure, myocardial infarction, shock, syncope, coma, drowning, status asthmaticus. Like this, many emergency conditions were given in our syllabus point. Okay. Now, we will discuss one by one in detail. First of all, coming to hyperpyrexia. What we have to know before we are going to prepare this hyperpyrexia is what does it mean? What does the word hyperpyrexia mean? Okay, hyper means more, pyrexia means temperature. Increase in a temperature of a person, of an individual is considered as hyperpyrexia. Okay, we all know the normal temperature is 98.4 degree. And here, if it is more than that, if it increases in an individual, it is considered as hyperpyrexia. In general, what is the definition of fever? Fever is abnormal increase of temperature due to any changes in hypothalamic regulatory center. Okay, the hypothalamus regulates the temperature in a body. So, in abnormality in the hypothalamic regulatory center results in this hyperpyrexia. Okay, now what does it mean? It is increase in normal body temperature of an individual is considered as hyperpyrexia. Next, what are the causes? And before going to the causes, we have to know hypothalamus is the one which regulates the body temperature. If it exceeds greater than 106.7 degree Fahrenheit, it is considered as hyperpyrexia. Next, what are the causes? Sepsis. Intracranial hemorrhage, several viral and bacterial infections, fungal infections and encephalitis. These were the causes of hyperpyrexia. Once again, we will go through the causes. What are they? Sepsis, intracranial hemorrhage, severe viral infections, bacterial infections and fungal infections. Encephalitis leads to hyperpyrexia in general. Any inflammatory conditions also results in local rise of temperature. In severe cases, it also leads to hyperpyrexia. Next, what are the signs and symptoms we will see in this hyperpyrexia? They were nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, muscle cramps, dryness, confusion, convulsions, Alteration in respiratory rate and oliguria, oligipsia. These were the signs and symptoms we will go through in this hyperpyrexia. What are they? Nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, muscle cramps, dryness, hot skin, confusion, convulsion. Respiratory rate will be altered. It will be greater than or less than 18 to 20 times per minute oliguria, decrease in urinary output and polydipsia. These were the conditions seen in this hyperpyrexia. Next, coming to the diagnosis. What were the diagnosis here? 
CBC complete blood count and CT computerized tomography MRI will be the diagnostic procedures followed for this hyperpyrexia. CT and MRI will be done in general in an intracranial hemorrhage. If there is a condition of intracranial hemorrhage in a road accident or in any other cases, we will advise CT and MRI in such cases. Normally, we will go through CBC, complete blood count will be the diagnostic test for this hyperpyrexia. Next, coming to the treatment, cold sponging, ice bath, antipyretics like paracetamol. What are the antipyretics? The one which reduce the temperature in a body is considered as antipyretics. For example, paracetamol, dolo, etc. These were the medicines which will be advised in antipyretics. Ibuprofen and administration of IV fluids. Treatment based on the cause. If there is hotness of the body, then we will advise cold, cold sponging like that we have to treat as per the cause. Analysis will be given in the case of severe pain. Antipyretics will be advised as the case is hyperpyrexia to reduce the temperature. If there is a sepsis and due to this sepsis, if hyperpyrexia occur, we will administer antibiotics like cefaxim, cephalosporin at that time. Okay, what are the treatment principles? Cold sponging, ice bath, antipyretics, ibuprofen, administration of IV fluids, treatment based on cause. If it is through sepsis, antibiotics were advised in such cases. This completes the entire topic of hyperpyrexia. Okay, first of all, what we have to know, what is hyperpyrexia? What does the word mean? Hyper means more, pyrexia means temperature. Fever is the abnormal increase in a temperature of a body due to changes in hypothalamic regulatory center. What are the causes? Sepsis, intracranial hemorrhage, severe bacterial, viral and fungal infections, any accidents, encephalitis, etc. will lead to this hyperpyrexia. Next, we will go through the signs and symptoms like nausea, vomiting, headache, change in respiratory rate, oliguria, dryness, confusion, muscle cramps, dizziness, all will be seen under the signs and symptoms. What are the diagnosis? In general, CBC, complete blood count, will be the diagnosis. And in the cases of any road accidents and intracranial hemorrhage, CT and MRI will be the diagnostic procedures which we go through regarding this hyperpyrexia. Next, coming to the treatment, as we already discussed, based on the cause, we have to treat antipyretics, analgesics, cold sponging, administration of IV fluids, ibuprofen. If it is caused through the sepsis, antibiotics like cefaxin, cephalosporin will be advised to the patient. Okay, this completes the topic hyperpyrexia. Thank you. In future videos, we will go through the later topics. Thank you. Stay tuned to our channel for more and more lectures in an easy way.